Hello, this is Eli Di Paolo, author of the Conquerors of Katara series, and I decided to do my first video today in order to pronounce some words for you. And the reason I decided to do that is because my novel uh, does have a lot of invented words that you might not know how to pronounce. And I know that I myself, when I'm reading uh, a book and I come across a word or name that I can't pronounce, I'll try and make up a pronunciation for it. And uh, I will get upset if I later find out that the author pronounces uh, that word or name differently. So to spare you the frustration, I thought that I'd do this for you, pronounce a few names that and words that I uh, think might give you some difficulty as well as give you some explanations uh, for them as I go along. Well, I'll begin with some general terminology, the first uh, term being luci sororum societas, uh, which is Latin for society or order of the Sisters of the Light. And the order has four divisions within it, known as sashate, and these are uh, each headed by a prefecta. There is the prefecta consuasores, or head of the Advisors' Assembly, the Prefecta Milites, or Head of the Warriors' Assembly, Prefecta Medicas, or Head of the Medics' Assembly, and Prefecta Philosophas, uh, or Head of the Philosophers' or Truth Seekers' or Scientists' Assembly. Uh, note that uh, in Latin, uh, typically names ending in A are female singular, AE, female plural, names ending in US or UM, male singular, and uh, names ending in I male plural. Another term is that of frumentarius. Uh, this actually comes from ancient Rome, where frumentarius referred to wheat collectors or in effect tax collectors. And these men uh, went across the empire collecting wheat and other supplies and bringing them back to the armies or to Rome itself. And in the second century, Emperor Hadrian realized that because of these men's access to the entire empire, uh, they could be uh, formed into uh, secret service. In the novel, I use the term frumentarius, singular frumentari plural, uh, to refer to uh, the Royal Army's secret service. Another term is that of genera, singular genere plural, and those are uh, Queen Zebula's uh, guards and warriors, uh, and uh, they are also altar entrants or powered women. There's also the term tabellarius, uh, both in lowercase and uppercase. This also comes from ancient Rome, uh, t where tabellarius referred to male carriers. So in uh, the case of the novel, I've uh, changed the meaning a little bit, and it's uh, referring to the instrument that is used to carry the orders across the army, uh, in essence, some type of a drum. And so the lowercase refers to a lowercase tabellaris refers to the instrument and uppercase tabellaris refers to the drummer. And finally, there's temptator, temptator male singular, temptatori male plural, temptatora female singular, and temptatori female plural. And these are the um, tempters, basically, in the service of Noctiferous. In terms of uh, place names, obviously there's Katara, the, uh, the planet itself, and then there's the continent, uh, major continent, not the largest, but the one where the story occurs, uh, the continent of Aquinos. And then a smaller continent, uh, you can think of it as perhaps uh, our own Australia, continent of Canaria to the northwest of Aquinos. And on Aquinos, there are a few cities that might give you, uh, whose names might give you some difficulty. The first one being Herbs Duches, uh, which is Latin for City of Light, and Prague, P-R-A-G-H-E, which is uh, ruled by one of the brothers of the High King Octavius. So in terms of characters, um, there are several whose names you might wonder about, and uh, you probably know how to pronounce uh, the names of the main characters, but I'll go through them anyways. So there's High Prince Athen, the son of High King Octavius, Prince Taurus, and then uh, the youngest, uh, Ori. There's High Captain Hardion, that's Hardion. And uh, then there's a uh, guardian, a soldier at uh, the Mountain Lake outpost, uh, whose name is Hane, H-A-N-N-E. There's also Jamir, or Secundus Jamir, and actually that leads me to, uh, I wanted to define uh, two other terms. 
So the ranks within the army, the royal army, are high captain, and then there's primus and secundus, and primus and secundus are Latin derived, of course, meaning first and second uh, rank officers. So there's secundus gemir, then there's a guardian known as cruptus, K-R-P-T-U-S, cruptus, and his sister crupta. There's uh, also a liana, whose name uh, you probably uh, know how to pronounce. Then there's uh, Perfecta Bilena, who's the head of the uh, Seekers Assembly. There's Afanasia Lux Bayula, who's the founder of the Yellow Sashate, or uh, Seekers Assembly, and also inventor of the memory transfer technique. There's uh, Irania, and then there's Layella, uh, First Barrier Layella, who's the captain of the Lucian Guard, or the Guardian of Zluchis. There's also Sara, Sara, uh, Perfecta Sara, or Sara Lux Payula, who's the head of the Medics Assembly. There are uh, sisters, twin sisters, Uva and Zena. There's also Ilana Marin Darmuntake, who's the head of the Canarian Order, as well as, uh, for all intents and purposes, the head of the Canarian State. There's Kildare, or Kill for short, uh, who's High Prince Athens' um, squire. There's Lusk Mithrim, uh, who's uh, the Zebul Zebulonian that High Prince Athen encounters uh, while he's relocating the population from Quartz Pass to Furin City. Another character is Nihildrina, and her name has actually two parts in it. Uh, the first part, Nihil comes from Latin, uh, meaning nothing or nothingness, and the second part, Drina, a particle I invented for the Zebulonian language, meaning daughter of, so daughter of nothing. And however, Nehal Drina, though she may be the daughter of nothing, is a very powerful character in the Zebulonian court, as well as in the entire story, which you'll come to discover uh, as you uh, read on. There's uh, then uh, the god and uh, evil god and founder, Noctiferous. So Noctiferous is also derived from Latin, meaning bringer of darkness. And this is a play on words, <clears throat> or in opposition to our own Lucifer or Luciferous, uh, who is the bringer of light in the Christian, Christian religion. Then there's the Umbra, uh, which is Latin for shadow and who's uh, Noctiferous is Lieutenant on Katara. And then the queen of uh, the founders of the gods of the Kataran gods, Ayala Ri. And finally, there's uh, Jinkis. Jinkis appears only in a couple of uh, short scenes in Forebodings, uh, but will become more and more prominent as the novel uh, progresses. And the Jinkis is uh, the um, general of the Earth Empress Alia. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed it, despite the obvious lack of savoir faire, as they say in French, on my part in terms of creating videos and speaking in a single stream, or rather, despite my inability to speak in a single stream and being forced to chop up the video because of it. But if you enjoyed it anyways, let me know through the comments. And if you have questions about other words or names from the novel, or questions about the story or my writing, you can send them to me through the uh, contact page on my website, which you'll see under here, or uh, through my Facebook page. And until the next time, although I'll probably wait to see the uh, reaction to this video before I make another one, as well as wait to see my kids' reaction, until the next time then, uh, take care and uh, be well.